of business, we're looking at nanotechnology and the fashion industry. It's been a buzzword amongst fashionistas for some time now, but few people understand what nanotechnology is, much less what it, what it can do for your clothes. I'm not sure I understand what nanotechnology is well, and what it does it, for your clothes. It, exactly. I know it involves very small things, but that's about <laughs> all I, I can tell you. Well, a Hong Kong company evidently has harnessed this nanotechnology and it's creating a unique gadget. James McDonald now takes a look at how exactly this works. In this lab, science meets fashion. They're developing high-tech fabrics designed to be stain-resistant, flame-resistant, and water-resistant. Now, a Hong Kong company called Nanofabric is taking the technology a step further. To add up more value on the garments people are going to wear. They've created something that's both a garment and a gadget. The two solar panels on the shoulders pull in enough power to charge up your cell phone, wherever you may be. The science responsible is known as nanotechnology. In a very simple terms, nanotechnology is very small particles that apply to textile and that can achieve many desirable features and functions. In this case, it's being used to produce a solar film. The strips absorb the light and it's turned into electricity, making this a so-called smart garment. This vest may be futuristic, but in such a fickle industry, a piece of clothing that marries function and fashion can be a tough sell. Especially since nano-treated clothing costs more. Each strip adds at least $15 to the price. Nanofabric hopes to sell a version of its vest to police officers, but long-term success means cracking the casual wear market. We want all the people to understand what this nanotechnology is about because it is coming up so fast. Could wearable electronics and nano gear be the next big thing? It has a lot of potential and room for growth and innovation. And I think that in the next couple of years, we'll see that it will um, have a much stronger position in the retail market. To prevent it from becoming just another novelty, trend spotters have this advice. Focus marketing on the value to the customer instead of showing off the science. Don't sacrifice fashion for technology. And in the early going, keep the price low. At this trade show, Nanofiber found a surge in interest in their gear. No doubt some of it just curiosity, but also an indication the market may finally be ready for intelligent clothing. James McDonald, CNN, Hong Kong. On Tech Watch today, we look at why Monday is such a crucial day for online businesses. Black Friday, as a day after Thanksgiving is sometimes known, is an important day for retailers in the United States and their sales figures. But an estimated 58 million people turn to the web on the following Monday to do their shopping. That's just 2 million less than those who went shopping in actual stores over the weekend. That's made Cyber Monday, as it's become known, just as important when putting together the overall retail numbers. But there may be bigger shopping days over the next few weeks. We may see some heavier shopping days than Cyber Monday to come. Um, the 15th, 16th, 17th are often the biggest, heaviest shopping days online historically. So we'll see how that pans out this, this year. Consumers have been shopping later and later and later, just like they do in the stores. And retailers have been getting better and better and better at shipping fast.